Boo. Hi, this is Ace and Quinn. I'm back with sort of a, a glum looking Excalibur, even though he looks like he's Rhino, which is a Warframe. Uh, he's not. And we are doing uh, Liberate the Prisoner. We're in our cloaked ship off of uh, Earth, as you can see, and it uh, looks like the sun's pretty bright. There's two other Grenier ships. Grenier are. Uh, well, once were humans who have been modified, both genetically, cloned, pretty much, from a certain group of uh, Grenier. And then they like to add on body parts. So that's what makes them look so strange. They remove their legs, put on uh, mechanical legs, or, uh, say synthetic legs, arms, heads, eyes, sometimes pretty much everything, I think, but their brain, I'm not sure. Well, although the way they play sometimes, maybe their brain. All right, let's get into this mission. So we want to get your Warframe up and running. Uh, even though I screwed up the alarm, which is embarrassing. Uh, in the last one, this one, we're going to have to simply get our prisoner out alive. We're doing this solo. I have it set to solo right now. You can do that upper left-hand corner. There's a little uh, icon you can select between solo and global. I can now be detected by others in the system because I'm online as far as they're concerned in relation to this mission. Anytime you need help, it is good to uh, join a public group. I'm sure you can find somebody that can be helpful. Sometimes they're just good fodder. Other times they're good players. I'm impressed with the port, though. Uh, I'm there is a large platoon of talk. Grenier Marines stationed here. Leave no one standing. I'm used to the uh, the PS4, and the the graphics are, are good here. I'm visually color challenged, so I can't tell you what colors are missing. Little rodents down there. There's cameras later and scanners you can use to scan all the stuff. Again, these worlds are procedurally generated. I think this is a Grenier over here. No, it's a plant. Uh, so later you'll be able to scan some of these plants and you'll need those scans that, that collects their DNA data to make certain chemicals that you can use. I notice my left right is really fast for me anyhow. I'm used to using PS4 controller, so I tend to swap over. I apologize for that. I'm a big fan of the Switch. Okay. That's just I played this game on the PS4. For a long time. Loot chests. They'll have ammo, money, and equipment. Later, you'll be able to get a mod that will convert ammo to your weapon if you so choose to use it, which takes up a slot. You only have so many slots. But... For some guns that are high fire rate, that's necessary. And I'm hitting the uh, L bumper to crouch. And we've not been able to use any of our, our powers yet. Uh, this guy, see that crouching ability makes me incredibly stealthy, apparently. So we want to get into... this room, the jail cell, unlock the guy, and maybe not trigger every alarm going in because it makes it very difficult to, uh, when everyone's alerted. We could probably stealth by this guy, but so stealth attacks are more powerful than a standard attack, and usually have their own special animation. So say in the last episode, uh, I'm used to a mod called Reach that extends the reach of my weapon, so my depth perception is off. Those blue orbs are power. You can see in the lower right-hand corner, we're starting to unlock uh, our abilities and powers. If I hold the right bumper, you can keep the left one held too. So. Hold the right bumper, you'll see the letters come up. So our first power, which is going to be sort of a, a sword dash. You charge at your opponent. And every time you hit it, you can keep charging from opponent to opponent at incredible speed. And 
Well, that'll make up for, as I mentioned last episode, the questions commonly asked, where, where are hand grenades? I don't have any. Uh, see this here? It requires a scanner. That's something we could scan. There's a lot of stuff on the planet. On, in the game. It's an immense game for a free-to-play game. I should have picked up a uh, Sentinel. I'll show you guys what it does. I will do that in the next episode. And you don't have to stealth through the game. as just being that we're such low rank, and I'm trying to make a video and show you how to get through it. And I want as much loot as possible. Because if there's a chest... It belongs to me. And, uh, you know, if before a mis mission like, you know, Spy or Vault or Sabotage, if you're going to set off every alarm, then you might have a problem. Okay, I didn't stealth attack those guys. Let's see if we can kill them. Let's get the gunfire off. And one thing you learn about the Grenier is when they see you, they run straight for an alarm uh, keypad. So keep your eye for the grenier that's on the keypad to keep the alarm from going off. You get extra points for stealth kills. All these materials, the ferrite and everything, I think I'm in the millions now on my other account. Uh, you can use it to build a space station. That's your dojo. Use it to build equipment, warframes, which is technically equipment, I guess. Uh, for modding, for, well, just about everything in the game. You'll need it, so it doesn't hurt to collect it. All right, let's look on the map. Where are we supposed to be going? Mm, let's see, the up arrow. Nope, doesn't turn on the map. Nope, don't want that one either. Used to be the up arrow turned on the map on the others. Or maybe they're just not giving us a larger map. We're setting waypoints with this one. Okay. Enemies killed. Okay. Although the mission was supposed to be save someone, it's actually having us do what's called an exterminate mission. Let's kill all enemies. Which is one of my favorites. And how you use your powers are those blue orbs, red orbs, or health. You see I've got uh, upper left hand corner 100 shields. All damage will be absorbed by shields until they penetrate that, then health. You can increase that greatly with mods, which is why I thought we were here. Yeah, that's a dead body. Run over it, you'll collect loot. And most players uh, do speed runs. They, they don't take their time like this. I'm taking my time. And I even to this day when I, I play at higher ranks, I like to take my time. I enjoy the uh, the setting, the world. I sneak when I don't need the sneak. It's exterminate, so there's really no problem with alarms. Oh, I see some stuff over there. Slide into an attack. Trying some other fancy moves. So if you have that carrier, you'll pick up most of that stuff the first time. This is Rubito. It's needed. Do a slide attack. It's hard to move the camera and do the slide attack. This is what it looks like. Apparently, I no longer a rookie. Oh, the shotgun, and we got that special weapon. 
over there. Let's slide in the hurt. Those are harder to kill when you get to a higher level. This guy's going in for an alarm. The Grenier tend to build weapons that will kill the Corpus, one of their vowed enemies. So if you don't want to get into the whole damage types system, puncture, slash, and it's pretty easy to do. Sword is slash damage. Uh, something like a machine gun is a puncture because it pokes a hole in it. And then, well, anything that you throw like a knife would be a puncture. If you swing it, it's slash. If you shoot it, it's puncture, which uh, leaves you basically with blunt damage after that impact. So, you know, a hammer would something that has a blunt end to it. Uh, some weapons that you fire will have uh, blunt projectiles. Uh, a bow, I don't mean a bow you shoot with, but a bow stick. And since it's a stick, it will have impact damage. The Grenier uh, tend to, well, as you see, slice works pretty well on them. <laughs> and uh, I'm pretty sure it's punctured. It's, it's been a while since I had the, to go through it. I just sort of do it rote uh, now. Just checking out this area over here quickly. So I want loot. These guys are slowing me down because I have special abilities. So we want to get rid of this guy here. Before he... He's got that shield up. Our shields are staying up pretty well right now, so get rid of the propaganda machine. That's what we heard talking earlier. And I should use some uh, abilities here. Let's go ahead, R bumper, and then B. It's not quite strong enough to kill him yet, but once you mod it, it, it will be. So you get that charge, and it uses a certain amount of energy. And you can alter how much energy it uses with mods. Streamline your energy use. You can alter its power. Let's do a bullet jump. Slide. Didn't want to fall off that rock there. But did I hear Kubro? I don't know if we can collect Kubro eggs yet or not. Or is it something else you'd normally scan? Oh, let's get rid of this guy. And I got a booster uh, in the game. It's one of the rewards that they give you. I, well, I picked up on my daily login, so for the next couple of hours, you can see in the... someplace, you see my sword combo. See the number cutting, cutting down? That's my sword uh, combo right now. I can do more damage if I were to continue to attack. If you use your melee weapons a lot. You can use them exclusively. Use any weapon exclusively. I'll go ahead and hold down the X key. Now, now I've got the sword only, the Scana. And there are combos. This guy's walking there that you can use with that. Let's see my counters reset now. And the booster is something separate. You can actually uh, buy those. Or uh, win the them as daily prizes. Well done. Now get to extraction. We're going to take a look at that. Uh, look for the Kubra. See if I can find it. I thought I heard one around here someplace. Let's see if we can pick up this Kubro nest. I don't see it. I don't know, since we don't have an incubator yet, I don't think we can pick up the, the egg. So, so I won't... Uh, do that. Switch back from this. I'll go ahead and use this power since I didn't use it much. This is your first power. You get four powers. Well, later you get more. 
and in order to use it you hold down our bumper and you see there's four letters there as we unlock the others we'll get them so I'm just going to tap the beat so I charge forward and I would be doing a sword attack and then you can continue to use that to attack uh, multiple people let's use it on this guy here a little bit stronger there we did go up a, a rank on earth is where you'll find the kubra nests uh, there's one over here and when we start attacking oh, who's shooting us rod energy now so i guess i should use the gun a little bit The, the red there is my shields are down, so I want to find some place to let them recharge. We'll reload while that goes on. This gun's not modified whatsoever. Okay, so our health is down to 55 now. There is a way to recharge that. get myself killed here yet probably cannot get a energy's gone and there's a red orb that will give us some health I think it was red orb yeah so increase health 80 we're gonna attempt to attack this Kubra nest here which will make them come out The level we're at, the Coopers are pretty strong, but we'll be able to deal with them later. And I'm doing some bullet jumps and sliding attacks. And I don't think we can get an egg, but you have to destroy the nest. to uh, get the eggs it's a very fluid game although the sword attack I'm using seems to be pretty much one <laughs> this gun is so weak that we're, we're having to use a few clips to knock down this Kubro nest and then and we didn't get an egg from it I don't think you can get an egg until you get what's called the incubator and you'll know it when you get in your ship. It's a mission. But you can sometimes pick up uh, mods, pieces of equipment. I jumped right over him. <laughs> and my power, if you look down lower right hand side of the screen, is only 25. So I need to pick up some of those blue orbs to regenerate my power. Yeah, with the green marker, I'm free to go. I'm just killing extra people. I actually was trying to use my, uh, use the gun a little bit here. I'm really overcompensating there. Just killing some extra people for experience. I don't want to get mixed up with any more Kubros, though. So the bullet jump again, just uh, left bumper holding. I'm not even running. I'm just holding the uh, L stick forward and then tapping on the B. And I'll end that mission. We picked up no mods. I thought we were going on a rescue mission. It turned out to be an exterminate mission. I'm not sure what happened there. The unable to duck my region right now, I think, is because I'm solo early beginner missions.
You see the ranks that are going up on the screen for your levels. Excalibur has gone up to rank three, and the bars indicate how close you are to the next uh, rank. As soon as you get the next rank, then it'll change color. Our Exalted Blade, which we actually can't use yet uh, because it's a power, is ranking up with us as well. And we picked up uh, some Rubido. Some people call it Rubio. <laughs> Rubido, I guess. Uh, Dentonite ampules again on ferrite because these planets tend to have those things in particular. When you are ready, proceed to the navigation console. Yeah, I thought I did that mission. Did I select? Oh, I guess I must have selected the first one. Okay, well, let's go ahead and try this one. That's a shame. But uh, I guess it's a two for one mission. Things the exterminates a great way to rank up. Unfortunately, it's you know low level guys, but uh, or it's a great way to Kubro hunt if you want some eggs for Kubros. We, we haven't gotten to that point yet, but I guess we will. A lot of the grinding I'll be doing on Twitch. In my opinion, the grinding is is fun grinding. I, I don't even consider it grinding. It's just running missions, collecting money, and getting loot. And, all right, so this is the mission. We don't be detected. The is named Darvo. Oh, He's Darvo. being held in the prison block on the other side of this factory complex. When I started, they didn't have these missions. They really didn't have anything. They just sort of played. I remember you know, people wall climbing the first time, getting frustrated. The group I was in was like, "Oh my god, I don't How have to do that." How many slaves died to build this place? A little bit of story in there. If you're familiar with Dune, the Grenier are sort of. Uh, Darvo was out for talk. himself, but he is sympathetic toward the Tenno. The Grenier must have found out. No, oh, and he's going to talk. The Asperus is working, breaking through. I see the shadows of your mind. <sighs> Don't let okay. Vora distract you. Focus you? on the mission. It's our only hope of figuring out this link with him. All right. So if you're familiar with Dune, then uh, if you're not, you should be. Uh, <laughs> it, the Grenier are sort of the uh, Harkonnen. The Corpus are a robot uh, race. Again, humans have been modified into sort of cybernetic machines. Uh, some purely cybernetic. Next video, I will. Uh, should have done a stealth attack. Let's see that guy's going for the alarm. You want to avoid that. Almost broke my own rule there. Who's shooting at me? Oh, he's over here. Oh, okay. I not break that? I it's fair right. Uh oh, he spotted us. So I can guarantee you he's running for alarm trigger. Yep. That was him there. They spotted you. Uh I gotta use this controller. Okay, we're gonna see if we can hack this back. Okay, I'm hitting the B instead of which would be the X or plus on the PlayStation. Which is normally what you'd hit. Alarms reset. Pick up some energy. Open these up. So don't do that. Don't so far everything I've set out to tell you not to do. I've done. Well, let's get on with the mission. Let's locate this guy and see if we can get him out. If you have every alarm going off, uh, it makes it that hard to get him out because they're going to shoot at him when you leave. It's handy to give him your sidearm, which will be throwing knives in this case. Uh, not that useful, but... Oh, oh, he's already seen us. 
Your guns will alert. The enemy. Oh, we got another mod, which was Reach. So that's why I'm not using the gun that much. And besides, the, the sword right now is stronger than the gun. You do have silenced weapons and obviously a bow. Uh, is silent as well. And you can put silencing mods on your weapons. It's just some weapons, like shotguns, are really hard to silence. They reduce the sound. I guess suppressor is a, a better term for it. But they don't actually uh, completely silence some weapons. And they do have sniper rifles. And they sort of have something like grenades. But you, you won't find an actual hand grenade. A fright grenade that people are used to. have to get him out. Looks like there might be two of them. I don't know. When I started the game, Barbara was just this guy, you know? There was no mission to save him. Or a couple of war missions. Mainly to get Vor's pistol, though. I need to... Oh, didn't want to run slide past him. Uh, what happened there? Oh, let's get him. There's someone else who's going for us. Usually the doors are enough to keep the place silent. And there are multiple ways to get into a mission. You can find secret passages, climb up, go over. Sometimes you can't, sometimes you can. They are procedurally generated, so... Okay, we're to the mission area here, so let's... This is the prison block. If you can avoid detection by the warden, it may be easier to get Darvo out. Bypass the security so we can enter. Okay, this area is heavily fortified. Survey the area and proceed with caution. Uh, we need to get in. It is heavily fortified, as you can see. Here's one of those secret passages. I'm going to do a bullet jump up there, so I'm going to hold the L, push the L bumper, push the uh, left stick forward, and hit B to jump. And that way, I might be able to bypass some of those guards. There's a guard machine gun post over there. We'll try and jump down to here and stay in cover. It looks like there is a place here so you can all run up. I've never done this mission because this wasn't a mission when I started. I don't think this council is active. So, using alternate path, for Darbo. He has to be here somewhere. we've managed to get in the prison cell without being detected so far. Make sure I hit the right button. There we go. It's random. We found him. I owe you for this, General. I will get my entourage to meet us in orbit once we're clear of this mess. I'm give him my sidearm, which is a throwing Extraction knife. Extraction is ready. Remember, your success here depends on getting Darbo out of there, alive. The stealth part's pretty much over now. I think they'll crouch if you crouch. The Lotus must be desperate to send you fetching greedy fools from the corpus. And notice he's sort of going on his own way here. Not sure what he's trying to do. So we can go down this way. Maybe he knows the path better than I do. Okay, we can knock that out with our sword. Jump up and hit. Maybe. There we go. And we have to bullet jump up there.
Okay, I'm trying not to fire my weapon so I don't set off a bunch of alarms. Well, I didn't mean to do that, but... Oh. Our friend Darvo is in trouble. I gotta get this guy before he gets that alarm. Come on, Darvo. Darvo's important because he's going to sell you loot later. Darvo had a silent weapon. Where'd Darvo go now? Oh, he's in front of me. Okay, so Darvo sort of teleports now. Let's see if we can get rid of these quickly. Wrong way. I'm driving poor Darvo crazy. I don't think Darvo knows how to use those knives. You can get mob by Grenier. No matter the level. Darvo, come on. Come on. Let's go. You don't have time to wait except when I need to pick up loot. Yes, they do have their own language. Uh oh. Now the Ascaris has burrowed deep enough to give me influence. Shall we see how your shields work? My shields look stronger now, actually. The Ascaris is letting Bor control your shield. We must figure out how to remove it. Avoid taking damage while I try and block him. Well, that's pretty easily said. Normally that color, I think is that color. I have a hard time telling the colors. Determines uh, you have more shields. My shields haven't increased, but I think what it means is my shields are not regenerating. Try and strafe a little bit so I don't get hit quite as much. I'll we'll make sure I pick up the credits. It's a factory. Come on, Darvo. Man, you need to run more. Darvo, catch up. A Grenier factory. Oh, we made it out. Up with some nice mods. Hopefully, we can use them at some point. These are all good ones. They're all flawed. So, they're not at full power ones. Continuity, I believe, normally starts at four. There's numbers there. It's the amount of energy slots it takes. So, if you have, I'm just going to make up a number. Any Warframe, 30 points of energy. Continuity will take two. Intensify it will take four. And then you can increase those. So each mark, you can get, say, continuity up to eight and intensify up to seven. And so you see you're using a lot more power out of that 30. You can increase and change all things. And you can get non-flawed ones also. Flawed's actually a very nice deal. This will give you more health. Uh, in that uh, you can get these mods, or it used to be you didn't get the mods for a long time. Redirection's a nice mod. It will actually... Uh, increase your shield power. This increases your health. This increases your reach on your melee weapon. They're used on different things. We got 4,900 credits, one mod segment, some more video because this planet is mainly. I see that. the operator can enable the mod segment now. Uh, Ordis will be delighted to show you how to upgrade your arsenal. Thank you, Ordis. May I recommend fire? You can add elements to your weapons. Now we've got mods. Operator, I've linked the mod segment to your arsenal now. No need to thank me. Uh, upgrade your Warframe now. Oh. Go to the arsenal to see the weapon upgrade options you have. Okay, we'll do that next episode. And I'll also pick up a carrier so you guys can see how that works. Like, so you can pick them up in the game, but I think early in the game is one of the best times 
Boydis patiently awaits compliance in using the new arsenal features. It is for the operators on the good. Thank you, uh, To have it, it is 75 platinum, but, you know, I think there's a starter pack. That's $20. It'll give you 300 platinum, and that should cover most of the things that you want. And and that one, I would say... Boydis patiently yeah. awaits compliance in Bordis. using the new arsenal features. It is for the operators on good. Is a quality of life thing, but we'll talk about that next episode. Next episode, we'll be covering mods and then continuing on with our mission. So thanks, everyone, for watching. Follow me on Twitter if you want to see when I'm broadcasting on Twitch. I... Play Warframe. You, you can see me playing through the Switch. Ordis patiently awaits compliance in using the new arsenal features. It is for the operators on good. And advanced levels on the PS4. So until next time, make sure you have a good day, and I hope to catch you all virtually later.